What's going on YouTube? This is B Hackett here and this is me getting lucky in my third silver pack after hopping on and only needing one more silver for this collection. I had mentioned before that I wasn't going to be able to do this collection and sorry to say I lied to you. I uh, was able to get a hold of a Champ Bailey and once you have this that card for this collection the rest of them are pretty obtainable. I guess uh, if you don't, if you didn't have an egg Tebow or whatever you want to call it, egg bow, uh, you might have to get a prime time. And the only other card other than that that you should have to acquire is the Asante. Um, Ghost Mathis is pretty easy to come by. May run you about, eh, maybe about 300 to 500,000 coins. Uh, anybody asking much more than that's trying to rip you off. Uh, yeah, but there was my last silver thrown in that collection. This is uh, probably the second most uh, expensive if you look at card values collection other than the uh, crazy Thanksgiving collection with all numbered cards that Champ Bailey alone um, if you look at price guides it'll say 15 million but I've seen 20 plus million card offers get shot down all day on that card um, he was the rarest card in the game before this non-numbered of course and uh, here are your reward cards Deion Sanders and Darrell Rivas the Deion Sanders, as you look at the back of the card, has 400 stats. Uh, play recognition being 100, both coverage and agility. His tackle's up 15 to 50, and he's a little better in press. That Deion, 99 speed, 100 agility, 100 in coverage stats, and 100 awareness. Uh, the downfall with Revis is no matter how good you make the stats, he's still going to be super short. And uh, had a very frustrating first game with him. Had to... Uh, Put him up, the guy was running T.O. and Megatron, two bigger wide receivers. And when you put a little corner on a big wide receiver, and I ran a lot of man coverage, had to uh, adjust his zone, and then he just picked my zone apart, and it was just not a good first game. So hopefully I'll uh, adjust and learn to play with him. Um, I like a lot of bigger, taller CBs, but I would... Uh, it would kind of be mean to do this collection and not at least give him a chance. I've ran uh, that Pro Bowl Revis for a while and I've liked him, even though he is short, obviously the same car, same player, so they're not going to make him any taller. I don't think he can boost height. That would not be very fair. But uh, as you see there, compared to the old Neon, you're losing the seven man coverage, but you get a little better press, plus one on the coverage and agility, and plus 15 on tackling, so that's kind of cool. But uh, I was thinking about running primetime at the second spot and maybe doing that reward uh, Dion in the third spot. I run a lot of two linebacker setups, and the plus seven to man coverage from uh, primetime is very beneficial to my linebackers. But we shall see. I'll tinker around with the lineup and try out some different setups. Uh, it's a pretty uh, ridiculous corner setup there, both the reward cards, two primetimes, and CB Rod Woodson. So hopefully my secondary will play a little better than the first game here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video though. And like I said, this was an extremely tough collection. But take care, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, see ya.